guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new welcome my name is Monica and today we're going to be talking about my favorite drugstore highlighters please don't judge me for how the foundation and the concealer is looking right now I am testing something new out and it's not going well it's not going that well I just worked a full day I walked home it was hot outside and this is how we are looking so Keep your eyes peeled for a new testing video, which will come out in the next week or two. So if you missed my high-end version of this favorites video, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards. I switched. I'm like sitting on my floor now, so I forgot which way the cards go. I literally have a sign up on my vanity that says point this way for cards because I literally I, I need help. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see any more and you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so my first favorite highlighter comes from e.l.f. This is, I think, just their original dollar line of highlighter. This is in the shade White Pearl, which is a gigantic misnomer. It's a gigantic misnomer because this is actually like a really yellow, pale yellow highlight. It is beautiful. It is very soft to the touch. It's very pigmented. You really only need a little bit a product to blend it out you can build it up and you can sheer it out so i think it looks beautiful on a variety of different skin tones and it's only a dollar it's a dollar <laughs> they do have a couple of other shades in this dollar highlighter but i'm not a huge fan of the rest of them this was really the only one that i found that was like the most flattering highly highly recommend the dollar highlighter from elf i'll just put you right there there you go my next favorite highlighter, which I'm pretty sure it's pretty infamous around YouTube, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. It is a very subtle highlighter that still kicks like a big... I can't talk today. I was going to say still kicks a big punch. You can't punch with your foot. This is why I don't film at night. I have to film in the morning, otherwise my brain just leaks out of my ears throughout the day. So it is a very subtle highlight, but it still packs a big punch. It doesn't look like a whole lot like in the pan or even like in a swatch. It looks very, very subtle. We'll put it right there. It's got like a pinky undertone to it right there. But once you actually put it on, oh God, that the bad concealer came out to play. But once you actually put it on and sheer it out, it looks stunning. Like it doesn't look like you're wearing a highlighter. Like I said this about the Fenty highlighter where it doesn't look like you're wearing a highlighter. It just looks like you're glowing very good this one i think it's only three dollars i got mine at ulta and i think i had like points because i didn't pay the full price for this and essence always goes on sale so if you want wait for a sale it might be you know as cheap as a dollar dollar fifty you can go right there next i have a couple of different highlighters all from wet and wild i keep them in my double-sided z palette they're all right here i made kind of my own like highlighting palette out of these because they're really easy to depot but these are all of their Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. I have two from their limited edition Gothographic Collection. That is White Raven. And I think, what's the purple one? It's a sheer white one. I only use it with a super light hand. And Purple Ashes. Purple Ashes is the other one from that limited edition collection right here. I'll swatch all of them for you guys. This one is Blossom Glow, which I think is a beautiful you know versatile shade again you can sheer it out or really build it up the silver one that i have over here it's not for everyone it's called diamond lily it's for people that want to wear highlight and want you like you want to be like look i'm wearing a highlight bam and there's definitely moods for that there's definitely occasions for that but if you don't like a stark highlighter you're not gonna like that one Okay, so here are the swatches for you guys. The last one is kind of on my knuckles right there, but this one is Diamond Lily right here. I don't know why I started with the second one. This one is White Raven from the Gothographic Collection. This one, no, lighting, stop it. Don't focus on my face, focus on the hand. So this one is White Raven, Diamond Lily, Blossom Glow, and then Purple Ashes. So for these, they're really affordable. You get a whole lot of product in there. I think they're around three or four dollars each if you buy them on sale. I think full price, they're around six dollars each. But if you just find the shade that calls the most to you and get that one, you would be set for highlighter for like at least a year because there's a lot of product in here. 
and they are very smooth and buttery i think this is one of like the best highlighting formulas in the drugstore hands down okay and my last favorite highlighter from the drugstore is technically in like a drugstore priced palette this is the carly bible deluxe palette why do i always pick pale palettes that never like focus on camera because you've got like a white background jesus so if you haven't seen it before, which I've, if you're on YouTube, you've probably seen it, the Carly Bible Deluxe palette has, technically I think these are supposed to be blushes, but they're all highlighters. So there's a good variety of highlighters in here. You've got really pale ones, really deep ones, so a lot of different skin tones can use this palette. I definitely cannot use this last shade right here. I use it as eyeshadow, but it would make a beautiful highlight on a deep skin tone. And I really appreciate that they actually gave you a variety. These are like for your fair skinned ladies and gentlemen. These are for your mid-tones. I love this pinky one right over here. I also love this light gold one right here. And then you've got nice shades for your deep tone. So I think BH Cosmetics did a great job of cultivating a highlighter palette. That really could work for everybody and this is super affordable the whole palette is 21 dollars. i think that's full price if you get it on sale like if you sign up for the bh cosmetics like email list they have sales like all the time literally all the time so to sign up for the email list wait for a sale wait until you get the free shipping code and then order it because that's how i got the zodiac palette too right when it came out it was on sale free shipping I'm like yo get it i really want to do a video all on bh cosmetics because it really is a great brand that i've fallen in love with and just to show you how pigmented these highlighters are, here are three from the lighter side of the highlighter chain. Look how pigmented. Not really in focus, but still beautiful. So those are all of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore or from the lower end of Ulta. I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye.